What's up guys? You're watching Riot Press Productions. My name is Patrick Thomas Parnell. I'm a comic book illustrator, a college instructor, and the co-creator of a couple characters, one named Johnny Phantasm and one named Ultra Star. Usually on Sundays, I kind of hang out with everyone and uh, this chat and we talk about campaigns and new books and movies, uh, video games, and lots of toy talk. But I thought today I would do uh, a bit of a, a studio workspace tour. I have a lot of people always asking, you know, what my workspace looks like. Um, it's constantly changing. Um, we're doing a lot of fulfillment. So I figured uh, I would take your time today to kind of show you guys what the workspace is like. And um, I don't know, just kind of hang out with you and uh, just do our thing. So uh, stick around and, and check out the video. So right now, as you can see, uh, the workspace is a little bit of a, a mess. Um, we're doing some fulfillment. We see a, bu a big bunch of boxes right here. These are the last of the Johnny Phantasm action figures and lunch boxes going out. Um, so if you're waiting for those, uh, those are going out very, very soon. Um, again, everyone that's back them, I appreciate it. But this is kind of how we set up our fulfillment. Um, I'll kind of set things up over there on that, on that bench and this table over here. Um, and you know label them like with the people and then my wife kind of puts together the shipping and we kind of work as a team and just kind of do fulfillment we got some books here lined up um, there was like a bunch of cases of toys and um, and other comics and stuff like that, that that we just kind of sat here and just assembled and we kind of do them in blocks and uh, over there on that pegboard you, you see there's only three Johnny Phantasms now on top of it, but that whole wall used to be full of Johnny Phantasm four or five times we just fill it up then fulfill fill it up then fulfill fill it up then fulfill it's kind of a, a little routine that we have now next time you know I think that we're not gonna be able to do fulfillment um, just the two of us so I think we're going to have to kind of switch things up a little bit. But again, here's, here's some last of, the, last of the boxes going out for the lunch boxes. Um, here they are sitting in here. Um, I'm going to have to uh, put some stuffing in here pretty soon. Um, but yeah, so, you know, this is the last one going out. I have my cat here guarding them, making sure that they're safe for everybody. Uh, yell if you see your name uh, on, on the tag. There's the, I'm doxing people's names, but I'm not doxing uh, any addresses. Um, um, but when you first walk in, you know here's a, a bookcase that's kind of blocking my my art area. You can see it through there. It's kind of where my computer and my tables are. Um, but I've got a couple things uh, on, on here. Um, I'll, I'll just go through them real quick. Lots of comics underneath. Um, let's just go ahead and just grab. A couple and see what pops out. So, uh, some old school Magnolia. I think this is some of Magnolia's first work. Um, I, I love this stuff a lot. Uh, it's not Magnolia there. This is. But yeah, like Magnolia's earlier stuff is so great. Um, but I have most of these. I was able, uh, lucky enough to, to scoop that up. And then over here, a little, a little tissue thing my mom made us. My mom is so great. She knows we like Nightmare for Christmas. My uh, mother-in-law gave me this crow incense uh, uh, thingamajig, which I really like. Got to have a, a Bible for the kids on hand. This is an awesome book. This is pre-Sergio uh, Bible. I need to get a Sergio Bible next, but this is a really cool book. And then a uh, Sears exclusive His Tank. Um, with a, uh, a newer type of version of uh, Cobra Commander there. Got some books in there. I want to point this one out right here. Understanding Comics. Uh, everyone out there, you know, Mad Dog and I talk about it a lot, but Understanding Comics is one of those books that you got to read if you're doing comics. And Reinventing Comics, w w which is right next to it, is also another good one to have. But, you know, I have a lot of these books here. Um, a lot of, uh, like, the, the Art of Japanese Gardens or... Uh, this book right here that's like all all cityscapes or New York City. Um, a, a lot of these books I, I had, you know, from w when I was in school, pre-looking up images on Google. 
Um, so, uh, you know, some books are left over from pre-internet days. Here, here's another little find that I, I found at Ollie's for like three ninety nine. The the hardback of Punk Rock Jesus. It's still in the wrapper. I bought that about a year ago. I'm not even sure if I'm gonna open it. We'll see. Um, but we'll move up here a little bit, and you can kind of check out some of the comics that I, or some of the graphic novels that like that I do own. Um, I don't own a bunch. Well, well, just real quick, I, I do have a box of comics. I'm not going to break it out, but it's underneath these comics right here. And then I have a little short box that's that's starting to start right here that I need to get an actual small box for. But I I I uh, I'm not a huge collector, a comic book collector fan. And, and, and what I mean by that is, I, you know, I, I don't actually run out and buy everything. I I'm kind of really selective on the things that I buy. Um, I do take chances here and there, you know. Cowboy Ninja Viking was a chance. It's kind of interesting, but not that great. Um, the Surrogates. Um, Rob, good guy, wrote that. Got a Mega Man book in there that I have some art in there. Um, but yeah, so this is kind of like my 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 collection of graphic novels. Watchmen, always, of course, you know, a classic. Um <clears throat> oh, the X Factor uh, Essentials is a really good one. Oh, same thing with the Silver Surfer Essentials. And then I, I like these these Kid Transformers. That's a really good uh, sculpt of uh, Prowl. RC. And then uh, Grimlock. The thing I like about these kid lines is they make the robots all the same size so they fit in the same packaging. But Grimlock should be like twice the size of all these guys. So it kind of bothers me, but what are you going to do? It's a kid's line. Uh, and then here we got some more books up here. Um, these are where some of the greats are, some of the good stuff. Uh, the Transformers Vault book is very good. This shows you diagrams of some of the early designs of like Optimus Prime and like the, the piece of wood he was made out of. Um, of course, the uh, uh, Making of Watchmen book. Uh, also, these right here are essential to me. Black Sad, Black Sad, Black Sad. Um, also, the, the, the name of my cat, my lovely cat, but uh, I named it after that comic book. Such a great book. Uh, this is a really good book, too. The the Art of Atari. Uh, just I, like I'm not sure if you remember what the packaging looked like for Atari, but it was really changing. Uh, just changing everything, you know? It just It was... Uh, just the detail they went to on those covers have really got people excited on, on, on video games. Even though the, the covers never look like what, what the games look like, your imagination kind of fills in the gaps. Uh, of course, the uh, Giant Spawn book, it's a must. Now the Bible, uh, The Golden Dawn, interesting book. Uh, it's a book about the Order of the Golden Dawn. If, you do, if you're not sure what that is, go check it out. Uh, and then I have some of my kind of Alternative history books here, Atlantis, Alien Visitation, and Genetic Manipulation. Not a light book. Uh, if, if you're into some crazy stuff, it's a good book for you. Not as crazy as Behold a Pale Horse by the late William Cooper. Um, I definitely suggest checking that book out as well. And then Human Race, Get Off Your Knees by David Icke, a classic. Uh, again, uh, here we got Albert Pike's Morals and Dogma. Um, some of you might know this, but I am a Freemason, so I do have a lot of kind of strange books that pop up here once in a while, especially The Golden Dawn. Um, but Morals and Dogma is an interesting book, um, and uh, I have not even got close to reading the whole thing, but uh, it's, it's interesting nonetheless. And then, of course, the, uh, the Mason Holy Bible that kind of talks about Freemasonry and Christianity side by side. Uh, even though, like, um, uh, I would say that Freemasonry is kind of based off of more of uh, Judaism than anything. Um, because, you know, the first Freemason was, uh, you know, the people that built um, Solomon's Temple, you know. So, uh, yeah, so Freemasons got that going for them. Uh, up here, Snake Mountain, Transformers, old school Transformer case, lots of stuff in there and then old school kind of gray school got the falcon here in between um, over here is kind of like a little bit of a, uh, uh, newer pieces in, in, in my collection 
Um, you know, when I was younger, I, I, I never saw these in stores, but later in life I, I saw them. But the Playmates Ballcats toys are awesome. The toys are okay, but the packaging is just, like, so good. It's like there's a lot of die-cut stuff happening. Um, so I got one, and then I got Grifter, and then before I knew it, like, I had to get the rest of them. Um, have not got the rest of them there, but we're working on it. I got, uh, obviously Spartan, another great one, Grifter, classic. Uh, Pike is, is, is my favorite bad guy in Wildcats. And then, uh, and then Chick here, you know? She, her, she, she doesn't look that great sculpt-wise, but packaging looks great. And then over here, we got some old-school McFarlane Youngblood toys. Now, man, it's like when you go back and you look at it, like, McFarlane, like, had the sculpts going on. I mean, this looks like a very contemporary action figure. I mean, look at that face. You know, look at that face right there. And then look at that face right there. There's a difference between, like, what McFarlane was doing and what everyone else is doing, especially Playmates. Really changed the game, and it's still changing the game today. Got some more uh, young blood. Um, I do have a, uh, a Ming over here. That's for sale on my eBay. Um, a lot of the stuff that you see, these, these toy stuff uh, on display, so, you know, some of it is, is, is for sale. A lot of it, some of it. And then... Down here, a David Nakayama print that he gave me. Good guy. Um, so then, later here, let's, let's rush over here. Again, here's, here's, here's kind of some of the packing station. Now, for the past couple weeks, this whole area has been kind of filled up, and we've finally gotten to a point uh, where it's, it's not as crazy. Uh, there's kind of a shot of the living room. Uh, and I'll go down to that toy case, and we'll look at some of that stuff in a second. Got a cool Dave Cockrum piece, Alex Ross piece there in the corner. Um, we'll talk about that stuff shortly. But yeah, this whole area right here is all boxes, and we finally narrowed it down to this. Now, here are the three boxes that I've discovered that I use the most. Um, so I think what Riot Press is going to be doing is I think we're going to be getting custom boxes made. Um, they're not that expensive. Um, not, I mean, we had a choice. We, we could either get tape and use fancy tape for the boxes, or we can get fancy boxes and use regular tape. I think everyone else is gonna be getting crazy tape, so we're gonna we're gonna jump on and get in some boxes. Is uh, my Ninja Turtles cover that I did a couple years back. Um, here is a sketch by my buddy um, Charles Wilson the Third, old roommate from the Cubit School. Uh, here's here's uh, a, 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 a um, sketch from. Uh, the uh, Master of the Universe TV show in the 80s. Someone sent this to me. Someone sent some other stuff to me. I need to put it up. I appreciate everyone that sends stuff to me. It's it's so surprising. And I'm very grateful. Uh, this is a piece that I did for um, a art show at my wife's gallery. Um, it was about this thing called Red Tide, which is an issue that we deal with down here in Florida, where the fertilizer kind of fertilizes the... Um, the the water makes it hard for uh fish to breathe then up here uh i've got the fantastic four hanging out those are on sale on ebay again a lot of this stuff is is on my ebay store i collect it some stuff i hold on to like this spawn thing holding on to the spawn here first todd's toys first spawn still in the packaging um but some stuff I, I just hold on to for a little while and then I get rid of. Now, for some reason, I, I, I became a fan of Ninja Force and um, some of the more 90s G.I. Joe stuff later on in life. Um, just something about it was very appealing uh, now that wasn't when I was younger. I think maybe the radical colors kind of turned me off, but... Um, Something about it now, I just I'm, I'm into it, and and it's easy to find these 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 toys in mint on cards. So here's my selection of vintage Cobra guys. I I was starting to build this collection up, and then you know some of these are my childhood toys, but then then classifieds came out, and then we, we kind of switched gears a little bit, and then here we got the Joe side, we got an Action Force Jeep in there. 
Mission Brazil mainframe right there. He's a, he's a hard guy to find. And then this is a, this is actually a custom uh, right here. It's a Slaughtered Marauders uh, Snake Eyes, which I thought was pretty neat. Um, here, let's just got some. I skipped some of these. 25th anniversary Cobra Commander. My favorite Cobra Commander armor right there. I'm looking forward to them making that in the 25th anniversary. And then we got Ninja Force Scarlet. If you, if you have Snake Eyes, you gotta have Scarlet. And then we got Old School U.S. Agent, who is my favorite Captain America. When I started reading um, comics, uh, Steve Rogers was U.S. agent. And that was kind of like my jam. Now, here, now, some of this stuff is exactly the same before, but some, some people are new here, so I'll, I'll go over it again. Uh, this is kind of a little bit of my old school robot section. You know, I have the, uh, the Matchbox uh, um, Voltron, Lion Voltron in here. Um, I have the the Robotech Jetfire by Hasbro that was only made for a short time. Then this continued because it was basically a Robotech. And then I have up here in the front a bunch of GoBots. Um, you know, GoBots came out around the same time as Transformers. And I love them because, you know, the, 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 the car size, like you were still able to fit this car with, with, with your regular Matchbox cars. Because I thought that was kind of fun. Your Hot Wheels and so forth. Obviously, the bigger Transformers won the battle, but I still have a special place in my heart for these. And also, can't forget Rock Lords, right? Then we run over here. This session is kind of more of the uh, the wipes. She is a fan of uh, the Ghostbusters, so we're kind of building up a little bit of a Ghostbusters collection. If you go up here to the top, you'll see we actually have the OG uh, um, Ecto-1. And then... Over there is my, my is my old my, my, my wife's uh, b um, what's it license plate they got got all banged up <laughs> so but we just kind of use it in display A little Randy Bowen Spider Man action remember Randy Bowen like when he was the man and then this is one of my favorite things I own Randy Bowen Daredevil statue so beautiful sometimes I'll get drunk and I'll start walking around this thing and pretending like it's like an Oscar. And I'll just like do my practice speeches. I'm surprised it's not more dinged up. Kind of dusty. Some of the stuff is kind of dusty. I, I asked everyone to kind of forgive me for that. I wasn't really expecting to do this. Need to do something today. I want to keep in touch with everyone. Uh, I hope everyone's having a good Sunday. And this isn't boring everyone too much. Um, of course, uh, leave comments down below. Uh, subscribe if you haven't. If you think this is fun. And uh, we'll talk about it later, but go check out Ultra Star. Now here we have kind of like a mixture of um, old school retro uh, OG uh, Transformers, the Optimus, the Blaster, um, and then and then you know uh, we have a, a newer RC in there, um, Hot Rod and Red Alert are of course in there as well, Perceptor, um, Blue Streak, and then uh, Masterpiece Bumblebee. And then we got a couple mini bots there in the back of the display. So then over here is kind of my bad guy masterpiece section. Acid Rain, Acid Storm, Megatron, uh, Soundwave, and uh, Shockwave. Kind of like my favorite of the bad guys. Acid Rain is my favorite of the streakers. Seekers, not streakers. <laughs> That'd be funny. And then, uh, oh, here is... Um, the uh, the droid that I built on the honeymoon that the wife and I went to. Uh, man, really, really, really dusty here. I should have dusted before I looked around. Uh, but yeah, I love the colors of this. Kind of looks like Poe's uh, TIE Fighter. We, uh, we call him uh, R626. That's the, that's the name we give him. It, then here we got Skylinks. Uh, and some robots, um, and then some, everyone hopefully remembers Dino Riders. Well, this guy a little while back kind of reissued some, some type of Dino Rider designs with Mattel's blessing, and these are just beautiful. Over here real quick, uh, a, couple, a couple presents from the wife and the daughter. This Toxic Adventure um, I got for, uh, for Christmas, which I appreciate. 
Um, I love these Misfits reaction toys. Uh, this is something I actually got for Father's Day this year. Um, I love translucent figures, so, you know, the wife and the daughter pulled the trigger on this and got this for me, and I absolutely love it. And another translucent Misfits Halloween toy. I love these Misfits toys. They're so cool. A little Slimer action. Misfits Halloween bucket. And then the infamous... Uh, let me get back with her. The uh, Ghostbuster Firehouse. And if you open up the doors, this is where I keep all the accessories for all the toys that are like hanging around. I just did all their accessories in there just because I don't want to lose them. <clears throat> now, he, now, here's a section that I built specifically. There we got the uh, Kelsey Sh Shannon uh Johnny Phantasm cover. Um but I did I did build this section originally just to have all Johnny Phantasm stuff over here when we were displaying but now this is actually all we have left for for the Johnny figures like in, in the packaging. We do have some loose ones and we're gonna be doing some special stuff with them soon. But you know that's it with with with, with this packaging. So I mean six six hundred figures go goes really fast. Uh, some more reaction stuff here, um, some new school G.I. Joe stuff here, Cara Dune, Retro. Now, a lot of this stuff is for sale. Um, a, a lot of these Kenner Carbacks are all for sale on my eBay. Um, this guy is interesting, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be talking about him later, but what's interesting about him, I bought him for 2 bucks. I bought a, a case of them for $2 each. You can take the jacket off, and you can put him on uh, actually, the jacket off him and put it on Johnny which I thought was pretty fucking cool so I grabbed a bunch of those jackets and I'm gonna either uh put those on 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 eBay maybe in, in this packaging maybe just sell these as, as is um for a few bucks but it's a kind of it's a kind of cool like moderation to do to Johnny which I think is cool uh Got some sticker packs here, still for sale. I got a bunch of those. I'm gonna be, be, be uh, putting those up on eBay soon. Um, but yeah, this is this is the toys display right now. Now this this used to be just a Johnny Phantasm toy shop, but we're out right now. But we're working on that. And I'll I'll talk about that here in a second. Um, here's all the comics and stuff. Again, this is kind of part of the fulfillment station. There's some in, in these boxes down here are posters. Um, and here are the uh, the cards, the collector cards, um, more books. Um, but this whole area right here is like we just use this whole area as like our fulfillment area right here. All this, this is all our fulfillment area. So uh, I got some things spread out here that I wanted to talk about. Uh, what's interesting here is this is actually all the Johnny books to date. So, you know, you can kind of look to see which ones you guys have. But it has been a busy year and almost a year and a half. And then, oh, what is this thing at the end? This is a new one. It's a new cover for the Scarlet, the, or the Scarlet Heart and Scarlet Fright little mini comic. Um... That's going to be available at Megacon and also in Johnny Phantasm Extreme 93. But yeah, man. I mean, if, look at this spread. This has been a very busy year and a half. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine books, you know? I mean, three stories, nine books, but, um, uh, you know, I'm very happy how, how things are going. Uh. I'm looking forward for Ultra Star coming out and then Johnny Phantasm Extreme 93. Got some new action figures coming out as well. Excited for all that. Just a quick honorable mention, honorable mention of uh, Omega Supreme. Always kind of holding the fort down here. Got a little Optimus Prime keeping him company. Uh, oh, the Flocked Pathor, uh, um, Panthor. Um, this, is, this, is, this is the Panthor that has the, the, the realistic fur on him. Now I have the plastic one. Uh, I, I, you know, I don't. I'm not going nuts for these. So I, I saw this out there, and, and I know someone will want it. So I, I actually have that up on my eBay store for for some people to get down with. 
Now, this little gem here, I think you guys will find pretty entertaining. Um, this book, I made this book when I was in like fourth grade. I mean, if you can't tell that this is like late eighties, early nineties denim with the, the neon splat, um, you know, uh, it's, it's just, it's so brazen, but what's great about it is I, me drawing the Marvel comics logo on it and then kind of putting some mailbox lettering on it. I like the little ink job <laughs> I did here. Um, but I didn't have a, a, a book to put my collector cards in, so I needed something. So I recently got this from my mom's house. Uh, so, I mean, I was pretty happy. A, a lot of stuff is in really, really good condition. Um, uh, but here we got the first series, um, Empel. Uh, I'm sure everyone has these. Um, but, you know, some of these are going for a lot of money now, especially the Spider-Mans. You know, the first Spider-Mans are going for a lot of money. Um, so I might look into it. I might kind of keep some of these, but yeah, I mean, I love seeing this stuff because it's a total blast from my past. That's kind of what got me interested in the comic books. These, these collecting cards, um, really inspired me. This Cyclops is one of my favorite cards of all time, especially with this Marvel girl right here, but some really iconic drawings in here. Got some of the villains here. And then it's hard to tell here, but this this was my only foil card of it. It's, it's getting kind of lost, but it's actually it's cable. But that was my only foil card of, of the lot. Then here we jump it into some of the Avengers action. And I'm sure as we're looking through these, a lot of you guys are having like major flashbacks of having these as well. So this is still the first series of Empel. I I'm not sure if I have, you know, if I have all of them or which ones I'm missing. It would be kind of cool to go and get all of them. And then uh, this is, are these Empel 2? Yeah, so these, these are... These cards were from 1990. These are from 1991. So this was their, their second wave. Now, what's interesting about the Empel cards is the Empel cards uh, were the first superhero training cards, which I kind of find that hard to, to believe. Um, but here we got some, some of my faves. These two are definitely my faves. I need to get an Iceman over here so we can get the Super Friends up there. This Cyclops is so good. I mean, the classic Art Adams, uh, Wolverine, Captain Britain is super good. And then what's fun about these two characters, Bruce the Badass and uh, the uh, Delia, is that uh, these are from uh, obviously from Don uh, Delay. And, um, but he, he kind of laid them out like Empel Series 2. So I, I just put them, included them in there because I thought they looked really good. This space is empty right here. I need to find something for here. And then, uh, these are, are these the Empel 3s? No, these are Skybox. No, 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 no. These are, hold on. Some of these are Empel, and some of these are Skybox. All right, well, some of these are, are Empel, some are Skybox. I think this one, let's see, is the Watcher, is the Watcher Empel? Okay. So these these ones that have these kind of graphic design things on here, these are Skybox. And then these that have a slightly different type of graphic design are more, uh, are these are the Empel. I wonder if this um, Gambit is, yeah, I think this, I think the Gambit is Empel, let's see. Yep, it's an Empel card. Yeah, and I I really like these like the I really like the first three, um, uh, uh, first three years of the Empel cards. They look really great. The Skybox ones are pretty are pretty cool too. That's a good Magneto. By the infamous Art Bear. Let's see what we got next. Some more uh, Skybox stuff, some more Empel stuff. And then we're jumping into some of my stuff. Got some John Johnny cards in here. 
Got some of the McFarlane toy stuff in here. Now, what's fun about mine are is on the back they make that cool uh, completed picture of Johnny, and then the back of these cards look like the playing cards. And then here we got again some Johnny Phantasm Garbage Pail Kid cards, and on the back they make Sarosa Cecil, and on the back of Cecil's card is the Michael Golden artwork. So that's fun. So this was a little trip down memory lane like when I found this at my mom's house. All these cards are in pretty good condition. And I have more I have more to put in there too, some a little bit later ones. Um, but I think we're going to jump on that. Uh, this is kind of interesting. Now, I'm just, I'm just showing everyone random stuff that this sitting, that's sitting on my desk. But someone gave this to me. These are back in the day when you went to Disney World. Not only did you have to pay to get inside the park, you, you, you had to get tickets to go see the rides. So here we got uh, um, Magic Kingdom Adult Emission. And you have your, 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 your certain cards, or your certain rides here. It's a small world, 2,000 leagues under the sea, Haunted, haunted Mansion, uh, Hall of Presidents, Country Bear Jamboree. Oh, I love that thing. Pirates of the Caribbean, Jungle Cruise. Uh, almost all those are still there. But yeah, there, there used to be tickets for, for some of these, these rides, which I did not know. So someone gave these to uh, to me. Although I think I was at Disney World at this time, but I don't remember these as a kid. But I thought this was was pretty cool. Um, let's see, Adventureland, Frontierland, Liberty Square, Fantasyland, Enchanted, Tiki Birds. Don't remember that one. Tonsar's Island. I I remember that one. And I remember it was always closed at dark. Um, and then I think a kid got killed trying to swim across, and they closed it after that. Um, Skyway to Tomorrowland, that was great. Yeah. But someone gave this to me. I mean, I'm not sure if these are worth anything. I don't know if I'll do anything with them. But I thought they were just kind of cool just having these old school, like, Disney tickets. Now, uh, something else that I have sitting out over here that we're going to talk about is little books, little books. Um, so I'm doing an ash can in uh for ultra star we're doing two we're, we're doing two ash cans one about um general star and one about uh radioactive so i went in the archives this is obviously a new ash can by the great kenneth brokerford which if you haven't gotten down with broken too late because it's already ended but he'll, he'll probably put a version of it back up later um but I was just flipping through some of these little books that I had. Now, these are kind of toy ads. But I was just going through little books, little comics. Here's a little awesome one. Look at this little mask one. I mean, mask is just like as cool as it gets. I don't, I don't even want to mess with this too much. It's so brittle. Now, what's what's funny about the lettering situation here is like... Compared to normal drawings and comics, the lettering is humongous here because it, you know, it has to be because you have to be able to read it. Like you can't do the same lettering compared to the drawings, so the, so the lettering has to be much bigger than it would be for like a normal comic book. Matt Tracker, Max Mayhem. So breaking that out for reference, I found this one. This was pretty cool too. Another, another like like remember you used to get these books for on sale. This was about when when GI Joe the movie came out. That's why it's called Terror on the Tundra because that's when they were finding out Cobra Law was was up north. So they were kind of doing a little bit of a clearance on this. But dude, look at this Sepentor with his ship, seven dollars. That's crazy. Um, all this stuff was mail, mail away because this was like their overstock stuff. Now, how do I know this is the overstock stuff? Um, because they have the armored corporate commander in here, which he, he was much later than on, on some of these rides, like the whale right here, like the whale, the, like the whale is, is pretty old, but then you had tiger force Flint and tiger force roadblock in here, which those guys came out way after the whale. So, um, I think this is just them trying to get rid of overstock stuff. Which is interesting here is like you have um, regular uh, bazooka here, but then you have uh, Tiger Force bazooka there. Pretty interesting. Tiger Force bazooka was all right. And then I think one of the funnest things about this oh the Blue Ninja, very 
hard to get a hold of this guy. Expensive now. He, he was basically Storm Shadow, but he was in blue. And they just called him Cobra Ninja Viper. You know, that's all he was. He wasn't anything special. But I wish you, I wish we we, we would have seen more of those in stores for sure. Um, but this was the infamous one where where you could uh, order um, Steel Brigade, and again, you you gave him his name and all his specialties, and you got like a dog tag, and you got all this official stuff on him. But Steel Brigade was a really awesome character. I had him uh, when I was a kid. I, I forget the stats I gave him. But, uh, you know, a friend of mine um, just, you know, left Hasbro and he's and he started a company, not started, he, he bought the rights to do this company called Action Force, which is G.I. Joe in England in the 80s. Um, and he was actually able to get the rights to be able to, to do Steel Brigade. So there's a new uh, six-inch Steel Brigade that's coming out. I'm very excited about it. Also, alongside Sergeant Slaughter and some other great figures so if you haven't checked out action force run over there and check out action force but again lots of little books we got new we got new new little books like this uh, master of the universe um he-man type stuff um i was chance to use for examples here's some of the new ones that, that come with the new action figures here's an old one that comes with the old he-Man action figures. And again, I love, love, love these. So this is kind of like my influence that I'm looking at for when I do um, the the little ash cans for uh, Ultra Star. Get some more, some more, some more. And then we got, some, we got some other stuff in here. A little more. Then this is, this is a cool one from a while back. I forget who the artist is on this. Uh, but it's kind of cool that the chromium wraparound cover. Um, I mean, the, the art in it is decent. Uh, but I just, again, I like small books. I like the chrome cover a lot. It's interesting. You know, this stuff is pretty good. I, I wonder what this person's working on today. Oh, and then this is fun. This is a little fun little package. Some Christmas type of hardcore Christmas cards. I bought these the last time I did a commission over there in England. I thought they were pretty neat. There's some of the leftover dice. That's all the dice we have left over from the campaign. Add them on his speeder. Uh, and then kind of here's, here's more of the workspace. I need to clean this up, especially the top. I need to get rid of some of these spray paints. I uh, need to go through some of these papers, all, a collection of all of my, not all of them, this is maybe like a fifth of my convention badges. Uh, here, here's my little CG section. Um, I want to get a case where I can just put all CG stuff in there, but this is what we're working with right now. More fulfillment stuff placed in here. Some of these are packages from 1985, from the, from the, the, the campaign 1985 that people just sent back. Or not sent back. They just didn't never claimed it. So I wrote them and asked them, and never got back to me. So it's weird that people would just buy stuff and then just kind of disappear. Here's Blackside hanging out. How you doing, sir? You doing good? Can I scoot you over a little bit? Here's here's the wall of kind of all the stuff that we're jamming on right now. Cityscape. I just finished for Ultra Star. This is actually the first page of Ultra Star. Some of my newly acquired toys. Now, all these X-Men stuff, all these things are for sale. Um, the Spider-Man stuff I'm keeping for myself because I do like the Spider-Man stuff. The animated series in the early 90s got me stoked. Um, here's here's a, a picture of my classics collection. Also with the new Skele God here in the, in the front. He doesn't qu quite match, but I need to put him somewhere for right now. And then we got some Origins characters and their packaging kind of surrounding them. I'm waiting to get the new Castle Grayskull before I kind of get them on display. You guys are always kind of interested in what my POV is. This is what I'm looking at when I'm looking at my computer screen. Blackside's wandering around. 
Here, let's put you over. Let's put you some. Let's put you somewhere nice and comfy. There you go. Sit there. Sit there. That's a good place. That's a good place. That's a good place. That's a good place. Um, yeah. Here's the workstation. Got Grimlock here. No, like normally, what I do is like when when I get a new transformer or a toy or something like that, I'll kind of keep them on my desk so I can kind of just like check them out and just fuck with them throughout the day. Um, I did have a fun little selection of uh, some toy pizza figures up here. Toy pizzas are is the guy are the guys who helped me make my action figures, uh, which we're going to be doing more of here in a second, and I'm going to talk about that. I'm going to be talking about that today because there's been a lot of debate. I thought we were going to have way more extra action figures than we did. And my bad, we don't. So um, we have to order more figures. Oh, check out this awesome sketch that Kenneth did for me. The great Kenneth Rocafort. Always killing it. Every day. Slaying it. Every day. But here's some of my little figures up here on top. The uh, Mega Constructs He Man line, love those. Glass. This this figure is interesting because this is made by the same people that kind of helped me make my my Johnny figures. This is a little bit different size, but it's kind of cool, kind of like a cool like dark Power Ranger. I like the cape a lot. I'll put him back. We don't knock him too much over. There we go. Now what do we got over here in the desk? I'll just take a handful just so you guys can kind of see see what's on the mind of recently. Cause because this this pile changes over here quite often. We'll just see what's sitting here. Of course, we've got some transformer instructions. Oh, here we got some mighty mascot pins. I, I can't break my heart to to, to, to to take these pins off the card. I'll put them on something one of these days. And then also the Mighty Mascot stickers. I probably won't do this. I probably will keep these in this packaging because I like them too much. Um, little Mighty Mascots one sheet, which I thought was pretty cute. Um, and then this is kind of fun. Toy Hacks. I don't know if you guys know what Toy Hacks is. But Toy Hacks is a company that sells um, stickers for... Not just Transformers, but other things like Voltron and Robotech and stuff like that. But they'll, 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 they have all these like extra symbols and stuff. That was a symbol that I put over here on Grimlock because his symbol is hidden behind that glass. Um, but they, they sent, they, they'll sell like special stickers for like a, a certain robot that if you want to do like an 80s deco. But it's a really interesting customizing company. Here we got Star Blades, all caps comics. Ah, oh, Cyberfrog, all caps comics. Another great book. Mr. Mad Dog Shane Davis here. Some of his best work, I think. I don't know what he would say about this. I really liked this this cover a lot. Uh, I like the the American flag in the background. Pretty classic. Uh, this thing. Sometimes you just gotta you just gotta check shit out, you know. There's there's fun stuff in here. Not a lot of backgrounds, but there's fun stuff in here. Of course, another classic right here. Del Keown's first uh, pr um, published comic work. It's interesting. Let me see. Working utensils. My little, my little uh, inking, practicing cardboard tray. Uh, lint roller for the cats. I can kind of keep it here. I, I, I keep an eye on the front door. That's our front door of our house right there. So if any, any intruders are in, I can kind of keep my eye on them. And also if anyone comes in the front door over here, I can look at them too. So I got a little window into the rest of our house. Oh, up here, we got uh, some Cyclonus, some Beast Wars stuff. I, I, you know, I never thought I would, I'd be collecting Beast Wars stuff, but the toys are actually really good. Scourge, who's great. Then we got the Rhino guy up at the top. We've got Refractor up there as well. And then we got the the X-Men Transformer uh, toy, which is pretty cool. Now if we look over here, we, we have uh, some, some Legend-style figures right here. Legend-style figures are just like detailed Transformers that are just smaller. Third party, so these aren't even Hasbro. Well, this, this little guy up here in the front is right... 
right here, but the rest are not. Uh, and then over here we have uh, a Trypticon and some more mini bots. That Shockwave right there is third party. He's not Hasbro. But that, uh, the Shockwave and that Soundwave are both not Hasbro. But that, that Soundwave is Hasbro right there. So go figure. And here we got the, the infamous, you know, what I've been working on for a little while now is the G.I. Joe collection, the classified. Got all the major players here, Major Blood, or, uh, major blood Baroness, Cover Commander, Destro, Firefly. Got a lot of troopers there in the back. And then down here we got a little scene with the Gold Emperor, uh, uh, Cobra Command there, we got some ninjas, Storm Shadow, Zartan, the Pimp, Destro, Snake Eyes. Then down here, we have, um, I got, like, those are two customs there in the back, the Eye Guy and the Pumpkin Guy, I made those myself. And then this He-Man and this Skeletor are OG, and also Battle Cat and the, uh, what's it, the, the, the Rotor? Rotor. Um, but what's interesting here is Skullman from Remco. Um, this guy's very expensive. I didn't know that, but he, this guy's like 200 bucks. Um, he's kind of a, a ripoff of He-Man, uh, but some people just love that shit. Um, and then here's the Thundercats from that series from a couple years ago. I just bought all of them because I just I had the opportunity to do it at a decent price. And I actually liked it, the cartoon. I thought I had prom promise, but these toys are made by Bondi. Obviously a little dusty down there. I need to get in there and dust some stuff. But here, I'll, I'll, I'll walk you through the house. One cat. You guys know we got lots of cats everywhere. That's Stripe. We got Penelope. Run away. This is this this is a, the front of the house, the workplace, the studio, whatever you want to call it. Uh, but when you, when you first walk in, this is what you see. We got a mixture of stuff that the whole family puts up. Obviously, the My Little Pony is mine. Uh, I'm just kidding. That's the wife's. Um, and then uh, T has some characters in here, some uh, Lego characters that she likes having here, and she also has some rubber duckies that she collects on there, some mass vehicles. Some Voltron stuff in there. Um, some other just simple things. Oh, this is really great. The wife gave this to me uh, for my birthday or something not too long ago. But this is one of the greatest toys ever. And then if you look inside, the flux capacitor is fluxing. I recommend this toy to anyone. If you see it out there in Walmart, I recommend this toy very much so. Then here we got some McFarlane uh, Batman stuff in here. I made a choice just to kind of collect some of the Batman stuff from McFarlane. I'm not getting all of it, but I will get the Batman stuff, especially the Batman. In the back, you can't really see it. Uh, I need to get some lights in here, but we got the Haunted, Haunted Mansion action figures in there from Reaction. They are really quite beautiful. It sucks I have them in the back right now, but I need somewhere to put them. Some little bit older uh, DC toys. Uh, the Lex Luthor is a translucent DC Direct orange lantern. And then the Bizarro and Shazam are both uh, Alex Ross designs, and I love those figures a lot. Uh, if we come up here, I have a little bit of a Mandalorian section where I have all my Mandalorians lined up. All the ones that I have right now. Some of them are doubles. Like I, I have three different Mandos in here, but I have them arranged differently, so hopefully they, they, they look different from each other. Got Gina in there hanging out. Isn't it crazy? It, that sculpt on Gina looks so good, especially from this, peanut, this, this POV. It actually looks like her standing in there. And then I have this thing for just kind of neat stormtroopers, just uh, unusual stormtroopers, so that's something that I'm, I'm getting into. And then up here, um, we do have like some of these toys uh, up here, uh, especially in the packaging, they're for sale, so we just have them up there just chilling. But these legends are something that I've been getting into recently, uh, and uh, I'm, I'm liking them. I'm kind of late to the Legends game, but I like it nonetheless. Um, I might collect them for a little while and then kind of just get rid of them. 
But as of right now, I'm enjoying them, especially the Starfire. Starfire, Spider-Man, and Iceman were, they were my jams when I was like five, so they have a special place in my heart. Maverick, another cool character. And then if you look at these characters over here, here we got um, Daredevil, but these two ninjas, and then that ninja there in the back, are from a company called Foosh which uh, does YouTubing, but also makes independent toys, apparently, which I thought was pretty cool. But yeah, so here's our kind of display when, when you walk in our, our house. And then when you walk in our house, of course, we're greeted with cats everywhere. Cats over there, cats sleeping. Now, of course, in my house, we're gonna have the Autobot throw pill pillows. I think everyone knew that was gonna, uh, you know, come 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 into effect sooner or later. Uh, what's funny about this is uh, these glow in the dark, or these 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 pillows are glow in the dark. So that's kind of fun. Now over here, this is something that's kind of a, a little bit of my pride and joy, and I want to get this area is uh, displayed real nice. That's one of the reasons why I'm working on getting um, more X Men figures. But this is a Alex Ross lithograph that my grandmother got me uh, when I got accepted to go to the Cubit School, like in like 98. Um, she actually got this off the Home Shopping Network. Uh, but that is actually a Dave Cockrum reprint on there. So that's a Dave Cockrum Wolverine sketch, which is great. Signed by him, signed by Sir Alex Ross. A little dinged up, 136 out of 1,000. Uh, but this is, this is one of my things that I really enjoy. A gift from my grandmother. And then uh, looking at the TV, we have obviously the TV exciting, but I got a hot rod painting on the, on the wall that I did. There's a video of me doing it on, on my YouTube. Uh, and, and here's kind of like, when, when you walk into the house, this is kind of like, like the first case that you see. Got the mask stuff there in the bottom. Uh, got some strange, unusual color transformers there on that second bottom layer. Uh, some legends, or not legends, some classic type of size figures there. He-Man, Thundercats, we'll look at those in a second. Transformers, or Transformers, and then we got He-Man wrestling He-Man figures on top. But here, let's, let's get in here. Last time I showed these off, I did a video on them, and they were all in their regular modes. I finally decided to put them in their alt modes. But Mask was one of those main jams that I loved as a kid. Um, and I was able to, like, one of the uh, guys that works with my wife, uh, his, his mom had a bunch of stuff sitting in his garage, and he wanted to get rid of it. So I, I, I got off him for pretty cheap. I mean, a fair price. Um, I mean, none of it, none of them are complete. They're all missing parses or, or pieces, and things are falling off. But I still appreciate them. And then here we got some. Some interesting uh, transformer stuff in here. I like the Shattered Earth Optimus Prime there on the left, or Shattered Glass. Also the Shattered Glass uh, Ratchet right here, the teal and white guy in the front. I like the G2 Megatron there in the back. Got some fun stuff over here. Oh, Nemesis Prime over there in the back as well. Then these are kind of fun up here. Got some Mythic Legions action figures, Jackalman, Thunder Cats, Movie Skeletor. Right there, we got Lino, Mumra, Glow in the Dark Mumra still in his packaging. We got Movie He Man. Uh, we got this kind of Battle Cat Mythic Legions character, kind of looking like a Thundercat mixed in with the He Man, Panther on the back, and then Mythic Legions version of She Ra as well, and then another th Thundercat there in the back. Now, here, this is kind of like my my seeker section for the most part. This is where I have all my like seekers. And there's a couple different guys in here too, but these are all my seekers. Jetfire, the, this Jetfire is by far one of the best toys, Transformers I've ever like, you know, like messed around with. Like it's just, it's, it's perfect. It looks just like them too. I mean, really, all these new Siege Transformers, the technology has finally caught up where they can actually make them look like they do in robot mode, but also in their alt mode as well. Mm -hmm. 
And then here we got the Autobots. I, I, I went with the translucent blue from Mirage just because I'm not going to have both of them and I'd rather have a translucent one. I love translucent and glow in dark figures. This is kind of like my my version of, of the ARC crew, like, like the first crew that came to Earth. And then here, uh, I've got some Twilight Zone stuff mixed in with some Robin Hood Prince of Thieves stuff. And then here is the uh, the um, Master of the Universe Origins collection that's happening right now. I have some of these things on my wall in my studio room as well. But Triple H on Panther there, pretty cool. Kane and Finn Balor in the back. Faker John Cena. He's pretty cool. Translucent. Gotta love him. And then I think the best figure of all this line so far has been this Skeletor right here. By far. By far. And then lastly, we'll, we'll, talk, we'll talk about this ball. It's kind of dark, but I think everyone will remember this. This is something my, my, my wife painted up for the Johnny Phantasm uh, display for the, for the commercial, for the action figure. Um, but here's just a couple. Oh, man, it's so dark you can't even tell. But this, this is just a, a wall where we just have kind of like loosey things. Some beast, uh, battle beasts, hard to see. And then also these are hard to see too, but these are little McDonald's transformer characters and then over here of course um we have my little care bear collection now just uh, some a fun story about with me and care bears was care bears was the first thing that i collected like as like a four or five year old it was like the first time that i realized that that there was like a group of these things and you, and you can get all of them so although care bears is kind of on the gay side i uh i still love them you know because it reminds me of being a kid and getting into collecting now i'm not going to go all the way upstairs but i will walk up and to check out this painting some of you have seen this before there's a video of me making this online but this is a optimus prime painting i did it's in our hallway going upstairs and then also over here I have uh, the Johnny Phantasm, the first cover. So I'm gonna hold on to this cover for a minute. But that's the first Johnny cover. And then you got some Venom. And then another, another Johnny piece on canvas. Kind of hard to see, it's close. But that's pretty much it for the workspace, house, studio tour, whatever you want to call it. Um, like everyone's waiting for food or something. Um, but yeah, I want to thank everyone for hanging out today. Uh, and just kind of just seeing what I was up to and, and let me kind of share my workspace with you. I want to thank everyone who came by today and hung out with me this Sunday and checked out the workspace, studio space, living area, uh, checking out the cats, making sure the cats are okay. Um, but uh, yeah, I, 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 thanks for sticking around. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it wasn't too boring. Um, next time, uh, we'll, we'll, hopefully we'll have a bigger space and, and there might be some more interesting things to look at. Um, but uh, I mean, if you haven't... Uh, Run down there and hit it, hit the bell for notifications. Subscribe if you if you wouldn't mind. Uh, follow us over here at Riot Press and, and some of the stuff that we're making. We're making lots of great comics, lots of great stories, great toys. Um, oh, I didn't get to even uh, mention some of the new toy stuff. I guess I'll, have to, I'll save that for next week. Um, but uh, yeah, run run. Uh, also run down and, and click on the description and uh, go check out Ultra Star, uh, a new graphic novel comic book that I'm working on right now. 
Um, I think you'll really enjoy it if you like comic books. Um, I hope everyone has a good Sunday. Uh, and I will see everyone later. Have a good one.